Greetings entities and guardians, my name is Hyper Himes and welcome back to Kikaren Kingdom. New update came out a few days ago, and that means we have the introduction of the one, the only, not BC, it's Rubble Cookie. So in this video, I think it's obvious that we're going to be taking the gander at Rubble Cookie, some of their quotes, some of their skills, how they work in battle, uh, voice acting, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I know it's kind of a simplistic video, but uh, I'm pretty sure this update really heavily focuses on the, on the fact that like you need to focus on magic candies. I mean, four got released. Four of them. Like, if, if you take a gander, pass Rebel. Look. One for Cream Unicorn, one for Pinecone, one for Financier, one for Captain Caviar. Huh. <sighs> so many. And that's a video I don't want to try and prepare for later. But for now, we need to check out what Rebel Cookie has to offer and what they bring to the table. Because I'm curious. If this is the only cookie that we have available in this update, and there's not even a story regarding them, I'm kind of shocked. So, first of all, we need to find Rubble Cookie. But also, I need to say that uh, I will be not reading comments, which kind of sucks. But I kind of want this video to be focusing on the cookie by itself. So, yeah. Anyway, if you still want to leave your questions and comments down in the comment section below for me to read on other videos, still free, uh, feel free to do so. It could be a random question, a random comment, a random fact, something about me, something about the game, something entirely different. It doesn't even matter, because as long as we're having a fun time at the end of the day, and we appreciate being around each other from community to creator and creator to community, that's what matters the most. So, where is the, rebel the re re rebellious? Where is the rebellious one? Picky activity. Uh, you're working on... Oh, are, are you making the magic candy? <laughs> oh, look how stealthy you are. I guess it's nice that you're using the giant candy game. Let's swap you up with a... Uh... It will be a... Uh... Snapdragon. They, they, I know Snapdragon can make a good old magic candy. And, the and by the way, they changed the UI of this, so you can select magic candy ingredients, or you can actually select uh, upgrade ingredients. Which, I can actually level this, level this up one more time, but I'm going to be too busy focusing on plumbing, uh, getting magic candies done. Okay, so I see Rebel right there. How are you doing? Uh, I think they actually just waved to me. Hello, I see you. Uh, so, if I... Okay, I thought your head was double layered, but that's just the uh, hat. Alright, if I pick you up, you're just... You're fine. You just look chill. You look chill AF, dude. I gotta be honest. Uh, if I want to give you a quick sit down, what do you put? Yeah, you still hold the staff. You have like uh, the smirk. But it's kind of like not the junior brave smirk, but like you have a smirk where your eye kind of like uh, kind of twitches, if that makes sense. It's hard to explain, but uh, there you go. Pop now. Stick powerfully in your hand. Also, how does it look if I. Uh, I, w I just want to move the camera game, but it won't let me do that. If I plop you down. Uh, wait, you just, sw you just swung that staff all over the place. Hello? If I. I, this game is not going to do me any favors trying to drag this camera down this way. Like, if I put him down, like, look how fast he, like... It really just looked like he smacked Epitaya Drag. You can just place him down, he's going to smack anyone that, like, he sees. Like, I'm sorry. Why wouldn't it let me drag down? It's kind of weird. Here, maybe because there's no area down there? I don't know, but... You got any quotes? You, you were moonwalking? Excuse me, what was that? You got any quotes that you have to offer me, M Mr. Rebel? I won't rest until I put a stop to all corruption! Fitting for your character. Uh, if you don't know, uh, Rebel Cookie, uh, they hate how, uh, how do I say this? They like giving to the poor. I think someone actually said it correctly, I think, in the comments or something like that. Either in one of my community posts or TikTok or something. Uh, Rebel Cookie is kind of like a version of, like, Robin Hood, where he likes to give to the poor and not- Why- You keep on walk, trying to walk up to this dragon, I swear. Are you gonna try and talk to the beast? No, you just- You, you just phase through him. I, I- I can understand that you can poof and teleport and disappear, but I don't think you can walk through cookies. But what, I, I guess I can't judge you for it. But, like, they, like, giving to the poor and helping the uh, poor people and uh, defeating the uh, big-time wealthy rich people. There are many cookies who need jellies. True. So you're basically a walking charity. You collect those jellies and you just give them to the cookies. I swear, they're uh, they're going to fight in a couple moments. They're just waiting for it. They're trying to wait until one of them steps on each other's toes and they're going to actually, like, duke it out. I swear. I won't rest until I, got you. I, I can go anywhere on my cloud. Uh, is that why you're walking to it? Are, are you, do you think that Battalion Dragon's like the hair? You think their hair's the cloud? Is that why? I, I feel like that kind of makes sense. I'm not a bandit. There's a difference. I mean, technically, I mean, you're kind of, I mean, a bandit steals just in general. You kind of steal too, but you steal from the big to give to the little. So, like, you have good meaning, but, I mean, it's still kind of stealing. I won't forgive the evil doings of those in power. I like this person. Hey, if you're in big in power and you're doing evil stuff, you better stop. 
Because if you do that, you suck. I can go anywhere on my cloud. Fun. I can go anywhere uh, on no, my cloud. I got you. I fight against injustice. Injustice. Fantastic. I wonder if there's an animation where, like, you just have your cloud appear and you just swoop in. I don't know. Maybe, oh, that might happen in battle. I might be a guess, but that's what I'm predicting. I won't forgive. Haha, <laughs> that's not me. That's a straw doll. <laughs> it's like the change in pitch of voice that I just said right there. But, yeah, obviously, I'm pretty sure that was also in reference to, like, either Lion or Oven Break Skill. Like, hey, they can appear, but no, they can just disappear and replace themselves with their little straw doll. Which is actually pretty adorable now that I think about it. I mean, hey, if... <laughs> I wonder if he just produces all those for all the little kid, kid cookies in the world just to collect for, like, gifts and stuff. Hey, here's a little plushie of myself. I'll keep fighting until there are no hungry cookies left. You could just say you want to end world hunger. <laughs> like, I feel like that's just another way of saying it. You... <laughs> Is that I'm going to keep fighting until no one's hungry anymore. No, just end world hunger. I won't forgive. I only steal from the rich and corrupt. Yeah, I, f I feel like you should mean you only steal from the corrupted rich. Because there actually might be nice rich people out there. Because if you steal from the corrupt, you know what? That makes sense. They deserve it. Rich people... I'm pretty sure that's just you committing crimes at that point. I only steal from the rich and corrupt. Okay, whatever. You believe what you want to believe. There are many cookies. I won't rest. Is there I anything else? Forgive. I'll keep fighting until. Haha, <laughs> that's. This world's made me into who I am. And, you know, okay, that's kind of deep when I think about it. This world's made me into who I am. I'm assuming as a child, and this is just a bare assumption, maybe the story later can explain it, which back after this, I'm just gonna go ahead and read, uh, their on-screen, uh, like, hub, their, their lobby quotes, basically. But, uh, maybe as a child, they actually had a lot of their stuff taken from, so now, as a grown-up, they're actually gonna steal other people's things just to give to the, uh, poor, uh, like, they put something poor and not given, if that makes sense. I don't know. But, anyway, you do have more quotes, and apparently all the mermaids are being attracted to you, so that's fun. Uh, fight against injustice. Let's go again. Let's go ahead and see some of your lobby quotes. Is that another? No, that's Stardust. Any cookies need my help? Probably. And, yes, they actually do have a separate... Uh, I mean, they have some similar quotes, but they also have a separate lineage of quotes uh, on their uh, main lobby screen. Which, uh, man, there's something I want to mention about that, but not in this video. That'll be for, like, a later date. Anyway. I'll help the hungry with my magic. Is it really magic? I mean, to be fair, you are riding on the cloud, and you could poof and, like, replace yourself with straw dolls. So, at this point, it probably should be magic. I mean, now that I see it, your skill, it shows ninjas. Unless it's supposed to be you in the shadows, but I'm pretty sure those are ninjas. I'm pretty sure you're part ninja. My magic comes from inner peace. You know, if that is where your magic comes from, then I probably would have been a magician by the time I was two. But then I feel like the more that you grow older, the more stress that you have, so you can't achieve inner peace. Really, of much anymore. Unless if you're totally zen. My enemies don't stand a chance! Well, I mean, hey. They, if you're fighting against someone who's in the wheelchair, they're definitely not gonna stand a chance, obviously. Even the wind and clouds are on my side. So you're like an el you're, you're basically an air elemental. Okay, gotcha. I'm terrified now. On to the next target. What, do you just have an endless list of, like, bounties you have on your head? Mm, all right. Man, oh my gosh, this guy would hate Chili Pepper. Just like, it's like, it's like a battle between, like, someone who steals just to steal for themselves, and a battle between someone who steals to, to give to the others. Like, I'm sorry, but that would be a cool story. I would write that. Like, I'm sorry, that would be an enter entertaining, like, little animation story to see. Like, ju I'm just saying. There are so many cookies in need. Obviously, there's over like a hundred in this game. I think I have every single one of them so far. So there's a lot of people who need feeding. No cookie can best my tricks. <sighs> I mean, unless if it's like an overpowered legendary, or maybe it's like on a rogue fort. You probably got some competition. My enemies don't stand a chance. Probably. Any cookies need my until all cookies are fed. That you're that you're gonna be really stressed out. How do you have inner peace? That's a, that's a lot of weight that you have to put on yourself. Any cookies need my help? I, Any cookies need my help? He's, the he, he keeps There's asking. So many cookies in need. Uh, all right, that may be it for quotes. I could just keep on checking if there's something new. There are so many until all until all my enemies don't. My magic. I, I yeah, I, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's magic. it. Sorry. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly read a comic question of the day, which is gonna be pretty obvious because uh, you know. 
I ask if I ask this for every single type of video where I'm just doing like a cookie analysis video. What is your opinion on Rebel Cookie? And let's be honest, I feel like people might get the uh, wrong implication that like they might be bad because they were the only cookie a part of this update or they look too basic. But if you're thinking about that, you should probably look at the short that I recently made because uh, just kind of looking at them objectively as like design standpoint, it's kind of ridiculous. You have to take everything into consideration, like how they work in battle, their story, their lore, their design, how they are in different games too, their voice acting. In general, there's a lot of factors that you need to put into when considering a cookie because you can't just look at one thing and then judge them off of that. It's like everyone in Cookie Run Kingdom, I think TikTok, judging them based off of like design only. And they don't even know like much about their lore, which is it's really it sucks because it gives people the wrong idea about Rebel and probably like dimish, diminishes and just slanders his name. But I personally think that Rebel is actually a really cool and underrated cookie, cause especially since they're one of the veteran ones from Line uh, Cookie Run and AKA Cookie Run for a cow. So. I don't know, that's just my standpoint. I think Rebel cool. Rebel is it's cool in general. I do need to figure out how they work in battle, which is why I'm going to read up on their story, their skill, and then I'm actually going to use them in battle. But anyway, according to their story, it says, Be aware, greedy cookies. One swift cookie might already be going over your fence to fix injustice as we speak. Rebel cookie, made with newly harvested rice that was organically farmed with just the right method, is bound to make you feel healthier just by looking at him. With self-taught excellency in magic, he is someplace one second and somewhere else and another traveling on his cloud to rob the storages uh, the storages of wealthy and corrupt cookies. Even when he gets locked up by the guards, poof, he's gone, leaving a straw doll in the steed. Rebel Cookie equally and fairly distributes the stolen jellies among villagers, which is why every village loves him. He will never stop fighting for justice. Rebel Cookie will undoubtedly go down in history. Oh, I just had a thought for a funny comic, but it's based off of a meme that I'm pretty sure I already saw back then, but uh... Uh, I, I, I got something funny to make at some point. I don't know, maybe later today, maybe some point later, I don't know. Which, by the way, fun fact, just as a sidebar, like, separate to the video, I've been recently uploading my comics to TikTok and using the little uh, slides to, uh, the little slideshow reel thing. So if you want to see some of my really old comics that it's hard to like scroll through my community tab, because I originally posted them on my community tab. Uh, but if you want to see some of my old comics be now uploaded to TikTok, you can definitely go ahead and check that out and... We're close to 10,000 followers, please, I beg of you. Anyway, let's go ahead and read up on your skill, which says, Here, there, everywhere. RoboCookie uses his magic to deal damage, decrease the enemy's defense, and making them more vulnerable to all types of damage. Enemies with decreased defense will receive additional damage. RoboCookie will increase the ally's crit percent and provide an HP shield for them, blocking damage equal to a portion of the damage he has dealt. After finishing using his skill, he will create two decoys that will push enemies back with each regular attack. The decoys have a number of hits instead of HP. While RoboCookie is using his skill, he will briefly become uh, resistant to interrupting effects. So they're an ambush front, so just to basically skim through the lines and just make it a little bit more clear. Uh, they use magic and deal damage, but they also decrease the enemy's defense, also making them more vulnerable to every single type of damage, which is actually good. So I'm assuming it's like earth type, light type, fire type, water type, so they'll be more vulnerable to it. That's, that's pretty good, especially if their defense is down. Also, enemies will, with decreased defense will also receive additional damage. So they will get hit too, that's good. And Rebel Cookie provides allies crit percent and provide an HP shield for them. So they shield the people and also provide a crit extra percentage for them. Which is better because now you're going to be doing a good amount of damage. And also blocks damage equal to a portion of the damage he has dealt. So depending on how much damage he's dealt, he could also block the amount uh, that he's like given. Or at least a certain amount. And then once he finishes, he'll provide two decoys that can push the enemies back. Which is actually good just to uh, get, especially after you make the HP shield, so like your team can just like start fighting again at a clean slate. So if you got some regeneration going, you can start getting that built up just by a little bit. But that's actually really good in my opinion, just from a formal standpoint, I think it's good. So with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, give you some XP jellies right here. I'm gonna go ahead and level you up a bit. Here you go. Num. Ha! More corrupt officials to bust. <laughs> Corrupt official, you know, that's pretty good for you. If it, if that's how you feel after you eat, you know, you, you live a good life. Here you go. I want to help more hungry cookies. Well, guess what? I'm, if you're hungry, then I'm feeding you right now. Ha! More corrupt officials to bust. Guys, I just realized I have like over a million crystals and like a hundred upon thousands of XP star delis. He's gonna, he's gonna kick my butt. He, he's gonna slay me and steal all I have just to give it to everyone else. And then I'm gonna get a lot of comments going like, you spent it wrong. I'm just like, dude, it's not my fault. I was stolen from. Here you go. 
they won't know what hit him. Well, obviously not if you just turn your well, the probably a staff, honestly, or a, or a plush doll. Ha! More corrupt officials to bust. Really, you got some more? There's no catching me. Yeah, it's it's basically impossible now that I think about it. Have you ever left a prison? Ha! More corrupt officials by, to bust. And by have you ever left a prison? I mean like have you ever like stayed inside of one for more than like five seconds? Anyway, let's go ahead and get you a level thirty. I think it's a good level to have you at. My magic is stronger now. Makes sense because you know I'm upgrading you, and also I'm boosting your skill up by a good amount. So let's get you to level thirty, which get you the power of thirty thousand, which is actually really good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and test you in the level. I think this is gonna be a little bit easier because I, I would not be surprised if I got clowned on during like one of the uh, uh, levels I tried using Linja Kiki with because of the plumbing time limit. But I think Rubble Kiki should be able to attack faster. Maybe we can go on a uh, level three or something just test you out. Uh, I don't know exactly what level. Maybe like uh, three ten. I don't know. Let's do that. We'll remove you two off the team because I gotta do some editing. Uh, bloop and bloop. Uh, why did I use those? I used them before, didn't I? But why did I? Oh, it was because I was getting fax footage. Okay, that's why. Okay, sorry. That's my bad. Uh, but where is the rubble? You gotta be rather high up. I mean, you're level 30, but come on. You, you gotta do some base ambush damage. Here you go. You're going down. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> Can make sense from the ambush cookie. Get ready for your stores to be cleaned out. I, your, wait, your stores? Oh, or storage. Wait, which one? You're going down. I heard that one. Did you say stores or stores? Because that's two different implications. Get ready for your stores to be cleaned up. Okay, I think you said storage because that one makes more sense, especially if you reference the uh, Yakko Village uh, story from Oven Break. I thought you said stores, so you just <laughs> catch me if you can. I thought you said stores in regards to like you're gonna steal from like a local store. Just like what? Th that's a business, though. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and use this. Uh, Sixty thousand versus thirty thousand should be okay. I'm hoping that we're okay at least. If not, then I'm just gonna stick to my single like one like six level. All right, so we have a lot of things going on right there. They're tanking. They're of course, like I mentioned, whacking with a stick. Oh no, they got shackled. Oh no. All right, beat you. They can, they can even resist gunfire, obviously. Now let's go ahead and use the skill real quick. Wait for them to uh, get a little bit closer. You can't catch me. Oh my! There's the decoys. <laughs> oh, 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 they're they're kind of they have their own HP bars. Oh, that's kind of unique. Oh, and of course, you gotta do this. Gotta get some of those coins for the homeless, for the needy. Uh, hold on. Let's go ahead and use this. And then uh, I want to see if the decoys can uh, try and do some stuff. Will they fight? They can fight too! Oh, that's cool! Okay, oh, they don't even just push them back. They actually fight! Okay, that's actually really unique. No corrupt officials on my watch. Okay, I gotta be honest with you. I think Robo Cookie is actually really good. <laughs> like, I know this is just on a basic level, but I feel like if utilized correctly, they kind of act as both a... Uh, a ambush and also a support in essence because not only do they lower the enemy's defense but they also raise crit percent for uh the cookies that are on your team but also not only that the extra like plebs that they summon the little shadow clone jutsu plebs they summon that can not only push back but they also just fight in general and especially if they also have this same amount of like buffs that like rebel cookie could get I think they're actually really good. Now, I'm not sure if they would be considered the best ambusher because, I mean, there's still, like, Sorbet Shark, there's still Black Pearl, there's still Stardust, but I feel like if you're trying to mix the lines between a supporter and also an ambush, I think Rebel Cookie's actually really good. I'm just hoping that they don't instantly get knocked out because they're a front runner. That's what I'm thinking, though. But I'm not a super complex person who plays Kiki Run. I just kind of play it for fun. I just kind of play it for the loot. I just kind of play it to uh, interact with all of you plugs. So be sure to tell me down below. Maybe there's some improvements that can be done with Rebel Cookie. Maybe there's some stuff that would be better. Or, what, like I mentioned, what your general opinions are of Rebel Cookie in general. So with that being said, if you enjoy the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it. And also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my Kiki Run Content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. Also, down below in the description, you will see links to all my social media, including a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I give a kick around YouTube set for absolutely free. You'll see a link to my Discord server called the Hype Me Sub, and you'll see a link to my merchandise where you can buy stuff to represent the channel. But above all else, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the Hype Knees.